Hey there, and welcome back to Stupid Game Experiments. I'm Axel Cannon, and my current stupid experiment is building the same game in three of the most popular game engines, Unity, Unreal, and Godot. So in this video, I'm going to give a comparison of the programming languages for all three game engines. Before I get started though, let me just preface this with a couple of caveats. First, while working in three different game engines has the advantage of giving me a unique perspective on all three engines, it also means that I can't possibly be an expert in all three. So if you happen to see something that I miss or make a mistake about, letting me know in the comments is encouraged and appreciated. Second, I've said this before in other videos, but it bears repeating as frequently as possible. You should not choose your game engine based on the programming language. There's a slight caveat to that, which I'll get to when I'm talking about Godot, but generally speaking, programming language isn't the most important factor when it comes to choosing a game engine. To find out what is the most important factor, watch this video I made at the start of this experiment. My final caveat is that when I say I'm going to compare the programming languages for all three game engines, it is probably more accurate to say that I'm going to compare the programming experience of all three game engines. If I was comparing the programming languages themselves, I'd probably focus on things like performance benchmarks and compiler differences. These things are important, but they're not going to be the focus of this video. Instead, this video is going to focus on the day-to-day -day experience of programming a game in each engine. To that end, I'm going to be approaching this topic differently than people normally do. Generally, when people compare the differences between the programming languages of these game engines, they do so by comparing the written code programming languages to each other, and then they might mention the visual scripting languages, and if so, usually only briefly. However, comparing the programming languages this way completely fails to represent the way most people use these engines. The way these programming languages should be compared is by dividing them into what I'm going to call their primary programming languages and their alternative programming languages. The primary programming language is the one that most people are going to use most of the time. For Unity and Godot, their primary programming language is their written code programming language. However, for Unreal, its primary programming language is its visual scripting language, Blueprints. In all three cases, you can see clear evidence of this merely by looking at the tutorials available online for that engine. In almost every case, when you search for a tutorial, the results will always be in the primary programming language. In order to get a tutorial for some other programming language in that engine, Engine, you have to add the programming language in the search query. Since the primary programming languages represent the way that most people will experience the game engine most of the time, it makes more sense to compare these three to each other rather than dividing them between written code and visual scripting. Alternative programming languages are obviously other programming languages that you can use with the game engine, but that most people don't use most of the time. I'm considering doing a video comparing the visual scripting languages to each other at some point. However, I'm not going to go into much detail on the alternative programming languages here. The only thing I want to point out is something that everyone else seems to ignore. Unity's current visual scripting language is called Bolt. However, Bolt wasn't built by Unity as an integrated part of the game engine. It is a third-party add-on that used to be sold separately. People consider it Unity's visual scripting language because Unity recently bought that add-on and now offers it for free. The reason this is relevant is that if we're including both in the list of alternative scripting languages, there are a couple others that we should also include. In Unity, there is actually another third-party visual scripting language called Playmaker, which actually has six times more user ratings than both. Godot actually has support for C-sharp and C++ built into the game engine. And finally, Unreal Engine has open source projects that provide support for coding in C-sharp, JavaScript, and Lua. I'm not saying here that I recommend any of these alternatives. However, if we consider both to be a possible valid alternative programming language, I think the rest of these should also be included as well. These are the ones that I've found so far, but if you know of any other alternatives, please let me know in the comments below. Now that we've covered all that, let's talk about the three primary programming languages. Unreal Engine's primary programming language is Blueprints. As I said already, it is a visual scripting language, and I would argue that it is by far the easiest programming language to use of the three primary languages. This is understandable because that was sort of the point of Blueprints. It was created to make programming functionality accessible to non-programmers. Part of this ease of use comes from it being a visual scripting language. The ability to see visually both how everything in your code is connected and all the inputs and outputs of a function. This makes it really easy to see what connections you need to add and what outputs you get from a given function. However, a lot of this ease of use also comes from the IDE surrounding it. It's the search feature that allows you to do both contextual and non-contextual searches. I've frequently found functions and components I didn't know about just from doing searches in this search feature. There's also the inspectors tab that gives you additional information and options for individual nodes and the tooltips that come up when you hover over different items. There's also the find reference function 
button that finds specific references rather than just doing a string matching search. This also allows it to automatically update all your code when you do things like change the name of a variable or a function. The extremely well thought out and implemented design of Blueprints makes it by far one of the smoothest programming experiences available. Of course, there are some problems with Blueprints. If your functions get too complicated, you can end up with a stringy mess that is even more confusing than written code. There can also be performance issues with Blueprints and there is some functionality that isn't exposed to Blueprints. So you may find yourself being required to write C++ code at some point. This won't be an issue for most users most of the time, but it's worth noting. Finally, version control with Blueprints can be challenging because it doesn't do diffs and merges as easily as text documents for written code. These problems won't represent the bulk of your experience with Blueprints, however they are still worth keeping in mind. As I mentioned earlier, Unity and Godot's primary programming languages are both written code as opposed to visual scripting. While this means they are not as easy to use as blueprints, both engines do offer some extended functionality to expand the programming options in the editor. Unity allows you to create public variables and serialized fields that expose the connections of a mono behavior or a scriptable object to the users. It also allows you to build prefabs out of collections of components that can then be dropped into a scene. Godot offers similar functionality by allowing you to export variables to make them accessible in the editor and allows you to build scenes out of individual components. In both cases, these features make it possible for non-programmers to add functionality to a game without being required to code it themselves. In addition to the above features, Godot also has an IDE and documentation for its primary programming language, GDScript, built into the editor. GDScript is a custom language designed to be similar to Python, and it's fairly easy to get started with. However, here is where my caveat comes in about not choosing a game engine based on the programming language. Languages like GDScript and Python are easy to get started with because they implement features like duct typing that make it easier to write code without worrying about things like variable types. The problem with this is that while it makes it it easier to get started, it can make it a lot harder to find bugs when your code becomes more complicated. This is because it won't throw errors that would otherwise be thrown during compile time. When I first got started with programming, I loved languages like Python because they were so much easier to use. I could just write code without constantly having to do typecasting or getting a million compile errors. However, as I've started to create more complicated programs, I've learned that compile errors actually give you way more confidence in your code. So I'm not saying that I wouldn't use Godot because of GD script. However, my guess is there's probably a limit to how complicated a game you could build with GD script before it became unmanageable. Finally, I've saved Unity for last because there's not really anything to say about C Sharp. As a programming language for video games, it gets the job done. It's not as easy to use as Blueprints or GD Script, but I would definitely feel more confident in it for larger projects than I would GD Script. The one big negative for Unity in terms of programming experience is that it is the only one of the three game engines that doesn't have a built-in IDE. This is an extra hassle that I personally found irritating, and depending on your choice of IDE, may be an extra cost. I'm using Script Inspector 3, which basically adds an IDE directly into Unity. I got it in a bundle, so it only cost me a couple of dollars and it works pretty well for me. Of course, your experience will vary depending on which IDE you end up choosing. So that wraps up my comparison of the programming languages in Unity, Unreal, and Godot. However, as I said in the beginning, if you think I missed something or got something wrong, please take the time to let me know in the comments below. Also, I am currently working on building the same game in all three game engines simultaneously, and I put up new videos every single day. So if you want to see more comparisons of these game engines, make sure to subscribe to the channel. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.